Hello and welcome to Infinity. I was tinkering around the other day. I'd like to, just for fun now and again, try and produce a, a, a an art style for the, maybe even a particular artist. And uh, I came across a way of making something like this appear like a Klimt painting. So, first of all, Control J to duplicate, go to select first. There we go. Then I've got up here and the assistant I got add adjustment as new layer and filter as new layer just in case you're wondering then I'm going to put on a bilateral blur and bilateral blurs generally try to blur the background more and so if we turn this up here we can always return to this then we can see that it's keeping the edges a bit more whilst the, the things which are blurred getting more blurred. And bring up the tolerance a bit here. Because I actually want everything to be slightly blurred. But the other one's perhaps not quite as much because we're kind of forcing an edge event here. Because what we're going to do is change the blend mode down here to difference. Of course this now makes it look very black but no problems. We just go into the adjustments here and put in an invert. So we got this up here, but now this is looking kind of rather white. So we to pull back some things on that, we now put in levels. So if I go to levels, wait for the histogram to appear. Here it is. It's all up here. So I need to bring the blacks up here and I can start getting more colors. I can bring this up here, somewhere like this. I'm getting a lot more colour back into this now. And I'm going to get even more when I just shift click down to the duplicate there, then control G to group it. So all that's not in the group. And now I can do an overlay with this onto the original. So I go from here down to overlay. And here we go. Here we're getting a lot more glim now. So now we just want to play around with colors a bit. So I'm going to use selective color for this. So I go to selective color there and then I want to play here. So I want to kind of get the yellows and the, the greens here to go a little bit more gold and yellow. So we go down to greens here. Remember this is red, green and blue here but backwards. So if I pull the cyan down I'm actually going to increase the red. So I will do that. I'm going to pull this down here. So I'm putting more red into yellow kind of pulls any orangey colours more towards the yellow, so more goldy colour. So I can pull this down. How far is that going to go? Um, so far. And I'll turn the yellow down as well. Because if I go too much it starts getting a bit in yellow. But this is blue actually, so I'm actually going this way, putting a bit more blue into that, again we'll push the greens. And let's try the yellows as well. And literally what you can do is literally move things up and down. So we go with the red down here, so in the yellows pull this down a bit. So it's again, it's getting that gold effect that you get in a Klimt painting. And the greens taking out more of the greens here by pushing this way towards magenta which is and this just controls green and see what yellow do here no I don't want to over yellow it maybe a bit to get it to get more bit of the gold effect right and then we're going to go to blacks blacks can be quite fun with this so I'm going to take cyan here I can add red into this so as you can see here, where there is black, I'm now putting in red. But don't worry, that's not going to be a problem because I'm going to compensate with these others as well. So I'm going to put in some magenta into that, which means putting this way, it's actually putting green into the blacks. So you can see this is now going a lot more gold. And maybe pull yellows in a bit, just a bit. And just sort of fade off the actual blacks themselves. There we go. There we got a glimpse picture. So we're just going to do a before 
and after. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.